Right, all right. So I'm on to the base now. Uh, I bought this base on Amazon, and then, you know, because I'm looking for something sturdy enough so it doesn't tip. Because this Ray model, she likes to tip over. There's barely any fucking balance on it, and uh, I had to go buy eight by eight. And when I got it from Amazon, the fucking edges were dented. I had to sand it, so this whole base has to get painted now because of that fucking sand. Thanks, Amazon. You really are fucking shit sometimes. So, uh, this is what I like to do when it comes to mounting a model or a resin or something onto the base. So, it's painted, and we're gonna have to have this, this base support, like, secured to the wooden base to prevent the model from tipping or whatever and also easier for like moving around so first thing i do is i position it as best i can to where i feel like this is right center where I, exactly where i fucking want it and uh from what i'm seeing right now this looks pretty good pretty fucking good and then ray's gonna stand up here and then it's not too far looks good to me so now I'm just gonna bust out a fucking pencil and trace along it. You know, I'm not too worried about the fucking pencil marking on the fucking model because that won't happen. And let's see, that's that. That's it. And then what I'm looking at now are like areas where I can, I know I can drill into the base and it won't fuck with the wooden base. I mean, where, where I could drill deep enough to put long, long support in there, where it won't uh, pop through. So let me remove the head. Move this flame so it's a little more easier. And now I got a good, good spot. One, two, and maybe here. I kind of want to do three. So, I can't really pick it up too well, but I can see it right now. I got one, two, three. So I'm going to do one, two, three. And that's when I got to bust out my handy dandy Dremel. And this is a 2.25 millimeter fucking bit. Gonna get a nice on there, nice and support. It's deep enough, good enough. Very easy. Very easy. Now I'm going to put in some of these uh, brass rods, which are about 2.2 millimeter rods. And so they're going to fit uh, a little snugly in here. So. I'm doing a nice cut right about here. in there so that's pretty good and then next I'm just going to fucking press down on the base so that leaves me with my the three indents which I needed one two three and now I'm gonna draw them again 
with this. If you're wondering what I do next after the uh, pieces fit perfect, uh, you know, the base goes on nice and tight, and I don't have to glue it on. Honestly, it just comes. It doesn't come on and off, but there's a definitely. It's definitely tight and secure. Next thing I'm gonna do is paint this. Uh, usually, I don't like stains on my bases because like, I think that takes away from the model. I want this to be as basic as it fucking gets. And to do that, you need some basic ass fucking paint, man. You know, one of these dollar fucking tubes from like Walmart. You know, I'm gonna plop that shit on, I'm gonna paint it up. I'm gonna do a couple light coats with this, and then uh, let it dry probably for probably overnight. And then I'm gonna hit it. I mean, this shit dries in like fucking seconds, but I'm gonna dry overnight because it's getting fucking late and I got work tomorrow. And I'm gonna hit it with a nice flat coat and then be done with the base. And then that's pretty much it. And then I can start a start assembly. You know? So that's a wrap. It's finally, 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 finally fucking done painting. So many different techniques, so many everything. I, I pulled out all my stops for this model. It is looking in fucking incredible now so i did the face uh like i'm sorry that there's a lot of paint and processes going on in, in this model and i should have seriously just recorded all of it but i'll just get frustrated you know it's the first time you actually try and uh the next model i'm gonna try to record every fucking thing i paint but with the face i i got uh some tips from a couple of my friends uh brit and tonya they uh told me about uh you know they their hobby are the ball jointed dolls thing and they're showing me like techniques to how to paint and I'm like oh that's cute that's cute so the face it, the face was uh the color skin colors from before and I did some uh chalk pastels you know crush up some red chalk pastels and did the lips and nose the ears kind of like how you would do on a normal face uh, I made her eyelashes her bottom eyelashes a little long did the eyeliner and give her blue, uh, blue fucking eyebrows. But the reason why I didn't do the upper eyelashes, like the bottom, because I have these doll eyelashes that I'm going to be putting on to give her actual eyelashes. And then I got to install the glass eyes she came with, probably with some resin putty, and that's gonna, that's my, that's during the assembly. I'm just showing you guys what the finish painted. And guess what? The hair is finally fucking done. This is. Uh, started off with a nice white coat, tons of sand in, tons and tons of sand in. I know this came in clear, but I'm not a fan of the clear hair color. I like gray with solid hair. Uh, I think that looks a little better. Especially with so much shit going on right now. This is like too much. So I started with a, I started with a, a nice white coat, and then I hit the whole model with cobalt blue. And then I built it up with sky blue, and then I did, and then I had a little bit of white, did a little more, had a little bit of white, did a little more. Uh, the camera doesn't do its justice. This model is looks a lot better, a lot better in person. So hopefully I'll take some really nice photos to show you what it actually looks like. So I could fucking do that. Uh, here's that little shoulder piece that goes on her side. Uh, yeah, look at that. So how I did this, let me see, I'll try to zoom in a little for you guys. This was, this looks pretty, this came out pretty nicely. It has all that design, has all the design inside, but you know, outside there's nothing besides these little areas. So to do this, I panel lined the entire piece with black. Oh, the entire piece with black. And after I dried, I cleaned it up so the details inside are visible. So after that, I hit it with some red gold inside, some Mr. Hobby red gold, just to just to provide you know gold from inside that. See that shit? Yeah, it's looking good. So after that. I let it dry, and then I hit it with uh, crystal color gold, topaz gold, and then crystal color diamond. Give it a nice mix, and I painted the parts black and silver for that. Hit it with a gloss coat. Now I'm going to do a little bit of polishing on this just to make it a little more shiny, because this is really going to stick out. Because I, I was going through all of her parts, and I didn't realize I didn't have any gold, and I love gold. I think gold is a great accent color, so this is going to look really cool against all of her uh, flat white parts. And like, so yeah, this is all fucking done. It's finally done. Jesus Christ. Like, fuck, this model burnt me out, but I'm really excited to start the next project. All right, guys, this is part three. This is the assembly part. This part is not fun at all because you have to be super fucking careful when it comes to 
assembling, gluing, everything. And as you can tell, there's a lot of, there's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of pieces going on here. There's a lot of everything. It's a fucking disaster. It's giving me fucking anxiety, to be honest. So, for this, I will be using crazy glue because, honestly, I just ran to the fucking store and bought it. I use gel glue because I like control and gels really helps with the control. Sometimes I use crazy glue, uh, sometimes I use uh, Zap glue. I have that bottle somewhere, I'm gonna have to pull that up for some of these smaller pieces. Uh, I usually apply it with the toothpick because I wanna make sure I get no glue on anything. So I'm gonna start with the base and work my way up. I'm also gonna have it so I'm able to remove her from the bases and remove her arms so she's easier for transportation because I want out of this fucking apartment. I want to go somewhere else. Very, I want, I need freedom. I need to get out of this hell hole, right? So, and also for another thing, the head, I have to take it apart and I used to do some resin putty for these glass eyes that she came with. That's another thing I got to take care of. That's going to be, uh, that's going to be fun. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, Oh Christ, I'm not going to record myself assembling this thing because I'm going to be very, very... I'm going to be cursing a lot when I'm doing this, so... Let's just get this shit show on the road. And I'll just... I'm going to show you guys a little bit, a little bit at a time. Alright? I also have this uh, Citadel paint, this technical paint called Blood for the Blood Dads. This is used to actually put blood on your models so a lot of these open wounds she has on her legs they're gonna get covered in blood and her ankles will be covered in blood because it's uh all this crazy gory detail i applied on it and uh yeah it's gonna this is gonna be fun it's gonna be a lot of fun i'm gonna also apply some blood on uh, the ava head with this open wound i painted on here and uh because it looks like it's been through hell so that's the point that's the plan the journey is over we're done I'm done. I'm done with this fucking model. I don't have to build it anymore, which is very nice. And I don't ever plan on building another one anymore, which is very nice. Unless I try, I honestly want to torture myself again and do the Oscar one that just came out. I'll probably get one eventually. Definitely an original, because, uh, you know, I don't, I don't want to do the recast for that. I don't want to get an original. So anyway... This model was finished in time for a convention called Replicon, which happens in Long Island, which is uh, pretty cool, pretty cool local community, pretty cool. Uh, this entered a comp uh, one category that got me, that got me second place because I lost to something I am very like proud to lost to. It was these models were incredible, and uh, yeah, so I don't, I really don't mind that. That's what happened. Uh, this guy painted these Conan the Barbarian figures and they just looked like They looked like scenes from the movie. So you know what? I'm not I'm not too I'm not hard on myself. I feel pretty good about what getting second. So this model was more of a challenge than I thought uh, I was expecting better casting quality from Volks because uh, I have a lot of newer Volks. This is an, I think the first cast for this race specifically and she uh, and She um She's been recasted a few times by Volks, and I think each time they improved uh, a lot of the mess ups. With a lot of the mess ups, I guess, that came from the original cast because the hair on her took forever to clean up, it took forever to sculpt. I had to re sculpt it, I had to re, re putty it, I had to sculpt new hair, I had to keep cleaning it. The clear parts were terrible. You know, the, you see me in the building process, you keep sanding. You get scuffs, you gotta polish it, sand it. It just took forever. It took a lot longer than I really wanted it to. But it is what it is, all right? Um, so yeah, the model, I'm gonna give it a six out of 10 when it comes to, uh, <laughs> when it comes to cleanup, because it was a terrible model to clean up. It was really bad. It was a really bad model. And here I am fighting away. Oh, I got the original. I spent the money on the original thinking I was going to get a really nice cast clean job compared to some of these recasting companies that butcher the models when they get recasted. But I am very, <laughs> I was very disappointed. This wasn't that great. But uh, I fought through. I, you know, this took two months to finish. A lot longer than I anticipated. Um, a lot longer than I anticipated. So this was, uh, 
this was a challenge, not gonna lie. Before I continue, I gotta take care of something. This requires a victory celebration, because this model sucked. It was very good, it was, ve it was a very good model, it was a lot of fun, a lot of different techniques were used, but it was still pain in the balls. And what are we gonna celebrate with tonight? Here we go. That's right, whiskey, whiskey, a lot of whiskey. I love whiskey. Listen, I like my beers and I like my whiskey gingers. They just go down so smooth. Come here. Come on. And there goes the shit show. Cheers to me finishing this model. And cheers to me editing this video, which is going to be a nightmare for a few for myself to do. Ah, fuck me. That's good. So. Anyway, so where is it? There she is. Ginormous model. Absolutely stunning to look at. I am impressed with myself. I impressed myself with this model. I don't know what to say. When I completed her, I was very, very, very excited. Because uh, the ship, the size of her, the size of her, she is ginormous. Look at the size of her to my cat. She is a big, look at the size of her to me. If you know who I am, you know I'm a big guy. This is very big. This is very, very, very big. And I, I am very happy how it came out. I'm ecstatic. I thought I was gonna fuck up some of the paint, but you know what, man? Any fuck up I had, I took my time with this and it felt, it felt pretty good doing that. I took my time, everything, everything came out great. Great, great, great. So you've, you've seen me painting this model, but now I just want you guys to just see how it looks now in one piece, you know? <sighs> right now you're probably watching this video and you're like, Dan looks burnt out. Yeah, I am. I'm not gonna lie. I'm very burnt out. It's been a long weekend. It's been a long, this model's been a, a pain in the balls since the start. And uh, I'm just glad it's out of my life, you know. But you know what, this model is staying with me to the end of time. Uh, this will be definitely put on my shelf, and she's gonna be with my other resin models, and they're gonna be a happy family together. It's fucking airplanes, man. Fuck, fucking Sundays. A lot of these, a lot of these parts that are here come off with a little bit of a snug. I use a lot, I have it so a lot of the pin, a lot of just pins hold this together in place, which is how the professionals do it. So if I wanted to, I could not take off her head, her arms, everything. And so she's a lot easier to maneuver and carry around. That's the only way I was able to take her on the Long Island Railroad to Long Island without me worrying about her. And she unscratched, which is really nice. And uh, she just, honestly, I love it. I love this model. You know, I probably will do the Oscar. So, uh, I'm all of you in Volkswagen, land, you want to send me an Oscar? I'll paint it real nice. So, there's a lot of weight on her. And uh, she's heavy, she's big, she's awesome, she's a pain in the balls. So, oh, Christ, I'm fucking broken right now, man. I just want to take, I just want to sleep. It's been fucking hell the past two months. Not just with this, but... <sighs> These are actually a little nicer than Gillen Builder's little cup. <laughs> also, which is really, really depressing. Uh, I think I could hang myself with this. I don't know. So anyway, a lot, a, a, a lot of a big question is, a big question I get is like, Dan, how much time and effort do you put into these models? It's a lot of time. It's a lot of. It's also a lot of money. It's more money than you actually think. Uh, people are like, oh, they won't spend the money to build the models because the models are expensive as is. This right, she was up there when it comes to price. If you know what this is, you know how much it is. All right, um, and then it's, that's just not it. And then the amount of tools. There's 40 over 40 to 50 different types of paint on this ring. 
there's more, there's so much material, like so many paints that I use, so many different techniques, so many tools I had to use, I had to get, I had to find, to just a painter. You know, I have an awesome, awesome, awesome uh, stash of tools and supplies and paints I've collected over the years, and you know what, I still had to get more and more just so I can paint it, because it's, it's never enough. If you want to know how much you think I use for paints and everything, just wait. Uh, this box is everything I've used for Ray, and there's actually more that couldn't fit in this box. I want to show you guys what it means to, you listen, you, it sucks knowing how much money you gotta spend and how much effort it's gonna be put on, but it's worth it. It's worth it. So, let's dig, the, let's dig down real quick and I'm just gonna show you guys some tools. So you open the box. It's stacked. You know, and it, the reason why I did this is because every time I use something, I throw it in the box. I had the box nice and neatly, but towards the crunch time to finish this, I just went ape shit. You know, tons of acrylics, tons of glues, chalk pastels for the face. Because I used a uh, paint in her face the way people painted the ball jointed dolls. Tons of, tons of, like, I ran out of fucking enamel thinner for the panel lining, so I had to buy some. I don't know where to buy some. You know, no one, I don't live near a hobby store. You know, there's barely any in fucking New York City for some reason, so I had to get some fucking lighter fuel. You know, level and thinner for my paints. I emptied another fucking bottle of tool cleaner. Tons of paint, sandpapers, tons of, this was to paint the fucking base. Okay, look at it, look at it, look at it. And that's just, and that's just not it, man. You know, this is probably giving people anxiety, but, it is what look at fucking eyelashes for her eyelashes. It's just it, this is this is reality. This is reality. I don't give a fuck how neat and clean you can be. This is what it comes down to. I'd use fucking Vaseline, all right? Tons of acrylics, Citadel, Vallejo, Reaper, fucking Mr. Hobby, Mr. Hobby, Mr. Hobby. You know, a lot of crystal colors, a lot of clear colors, tapes, masking, battery charger for the fucking cameras. You know, Unreal tweezers, you know what? And I'm so glad to put this all back on my shelf and clean up my fucking storage and clean up my fucking tool case, my tool, my tool lock, my tool closet. So I kept everything nice and neat and organized again, just to ruin again. About four different, about four to five different types of uh, finishes, you know, from Alclad to Mr. Hobby finishes, more crystal colors, so many different crystal colors on this fucking piece. So much shit. So many nippers, different nippers. This is my nippers I use for resin. You know, paints, fucking for recording. More brushes. And you know what? Yeah, sure. You bash me for this shit. But you know what? Go fuck yourself. This is how. This is reality. This is reality. Spend the money. Get the tools. Get going. All right. You want your shit to look good? This is how you do it. And look at, and you want to see the price of this shit? This is how much this shit goes for in fucking New York City. New York City's a fucking scam. Don't ever move here. Hey.